elaborate on uh, some long sentence or want to look at our standards. So we have set standards at a certain level that drive certain kinds of expenses, and if we want to reconsider those, we have to look at those in this planning process and the prioritization process, and we also want to look at our practices in terms of how we do things. And I think both of those are implied in the part of this as well, look at both our standards and our practices to see if we can become much more efficient and uh, be able to deliver the product that our community expects us to at a cost and a value that, that our community can afford with the amount of money that we have left. Thank you, Sue. As a matter of fact, go for it. I highly recommend that we do that because I think that will help us stand out and separate. Thanks. And I would hope going forward that we could be asking ourselves the question, is this item educationally necessary? Because at this point in time, when we have fewer dollars, we're going to have to be careful with how we spend them, not to uh, deprive schools who haven't had their construction of things that other schools have gotten. But I do think we have to be mindful of costs. And then I have two other things I wanted to say. Um, first of all, you deservedly are getting a lot of commendation for your input into our facility program and I echo that. But I also want to um, give some credit to Dr. Harder because I know he hired you and I'm sure he's giving you direction and while he's not asking for uh, anyone to commend him for the work that you as one of his cabinet members is doing, I, I think that I certainly want to remember that He's part of everything that you do as a staff member in the district. The only thing I, I can say to that is I represent the good team that I work with in the operations group, and so without them, that we would not be able to accomplish this. And then my last question, um, do you think, um, uh, Trustee Cuevas, that we have an accounting of errors that we've made previous projects? Well, well, my sense is that's where, I mean, we had a big discussion about a full performance audit that we're waiting for, right? And I think there might be some opportunity based on what the scope of what we asked that audit to consider. Um, and maybe if it's not informative, we figure out how do we get that information if we're going to value it as a positive contribution to creating a top-notch plan. Um, I'm, I'm very uh, uh, grateful to see this recommendation come before us. I think it's uh, a good time to really put everything uh, on the table, what we have left, you know, what we're committed to, and, and try to figure out the best way to move forward and, and, and highlight all of our choices um, and bring it back to this board for the tough decisions I'm sure that are coming. Um, this is fully in line. I think I saw some heartening news in the legislative analyst office has done a report recently um, on, on more equity for districts like ours in receiving facilities funding from the state, using the state as a broker. Uh, low, the, the districts with low land wealth are, are, are troubled in being able to have uh, the, the amount of money that districts with higher size values have. It just, it's, it's a matter of fact, and that uh, facilities are ongoing need, and that uh, the poorest communities in the, in the state are at the as a severe disadvantage in this. And the legislative analysts have made uh, recommendations to, to rectify that situation, of which I hope we're able to benefit. We've done our part, we've done more than our part around making sure that our kids have great facilities. And I, I do think it's incumbent on the, the state level to, to deliver not just equity and, and, and uh, operational funding, but equity, equity and facilities funding too. So but one part of the legislative analysts um, recommendations is that every district be required to do a five-year update on the facilities master plan. And so I think um, thinking about this, you know, maybe that's something we want to just make as a practice. If we do this, we also think about entering into a, an update every five years. So, because facilities will continue to be an ongoing need as well technology. So, um, with that, uh, I would like to call. Is it, is it, is it, does anyone make a motion to?
I move that we accept the facility's master plan proposal. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Um, all will say no. Okay. That was uh, board member Black moving, board member Paris, second. Everybody else approved. So thank you.